like a very random one to start. Um, your hand's measuring at nine and seven eighths. What size glove do you wear? A four X. <laughs> you had waited today to, to work out, and obviously, you, you know, you put up the numbers that you did. Just what were you trying to show today in, uh, in particular? Um, I was just trying to showcase my talent, you know, showcase my dog mentality that I have that everybody knows um, to come out here on the pro day and just to, to shut it down. Um, you know, I didn't do everything at the combine. So, you know, I know I know everybody was, you know, wanted to see what I was going to do here at the pro day. Um, I've been up since five, so, you know, I've been ready to go at it. You know, I woke up in the morning, I knew something was going to be special. So I wanted just to follow right behind that, you know, and just do something special today. After you got done with your first 40, I think I heard you saying, like, stop playing with me, something like that from yeah. far away. It just seems like you play with a chip on your shoulder, everything you're doing. Where does that hunger come from, and are you confident you'll have that for the rest of your life? Uh, I'll probably say, you know, seeing a lot of things on the media saying I was four or five, <laughs> four or six. So I just wanted to, you know, come out here and then, you know, showcase that. Now I'm not even close to that, you know. So when I got, when I got, when I heard the first time, you know, Jaden had told me, you know, take him off. But, you know, me being me, I thought I could have go faster. So, you know, that's why I ran it the second time also. Hey, Malik, I'm Ryan from uh, Amped Up Sports. Uh, I see the number eight uh, chain you're repping right there. So right. how important is it for you to get number eight in the league now so you don't have to change that medallion? Uh, you know, I got, you know, eight has been with me since my, you know, my freshman year. And I was 13 before, so, you know, I had to make, you know, I had to make the number eight first. So, you know, just, you know, it's my number. You know, everybody know me for eight, you know, being number eight. My, you know, my receivers call me eight, so, you know, it's my name now. So, you know, it means a lot to come here and then wear that number, you know, especially all the, um, you know, great guys like Pratchett Queen, you know, he wrote that number when he was here. So just to wear that number eight with some pride at LSU. You never know how the draft's going to work out. Commanders have six picks in the first 100. You might end up being a teammate with Jaden Daniels. Um, how did he make you better, and what do you think the league's going to get with Jaden Daniels? Um, you know, a leader. You know, especially between me and him. You know, you know, Jaden is a, a tremendous leader, a tremendous you know player on the football field. You know, and me and him. You know, when we're out there on the football field, it's like secondhand of nature. You know, I know what he's doing. He knows what I'm doing. So. It creates that mentality when we're on the field. We already know each other. So, you know, he knows when to give me the ball. You know, he knows after the catch I'm going to do tremendous things with it. And he knows, you know, nine times out of ten I'm always open. <laughs> Summer League reports came out that you had uh, dinner last night with the Giants. Uh, right. How was that and how would you uh, – do you like the scheme there, how you would fit there? Um, so your overall impression of them and how that went last night. Right. You know, I, you know, I had a you know great dinner with those guys. You know, there's some funny guys to be around, especially, you know, open up my personality to those guys. You know, you know, it's not it's not hard to talk to them. You know, they know me personally as a player. You know, I heard Brian, uh, you know, the head coach, he loves, you know, the way I play. So, you know, it was just a great to be around the atmosphere with those guys again. Malik here in the back, just kind of mm -hmm. stinking with that. What has been some of the feedback, some of the commentary that you have gotten from these teams? Um, you know, I would probably say, you know, I know a lot of people have been saying the receiver won off the board. Um, you know, dog mentality that I play with is like, the, you know, when I get the ball in my hands, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to do tremendous things with it. You know, it's already, you know, I have a plan to go score. So I'm trying to make a, you know, the very, you know, best explosive play that I can make on the field. So, you know, you know, they told me those also things from, you know, different, you know, different teams. Um, I play with a high chip on my shoulder, you know, dog mentality when I'm out there on the field, you can tell, you know, after I make plays, you know, I'm making, I'm making sure the offense, you know, has that, you know, that energy to go out there and also make the same plays. Hey, Malik Hunter McCann, WBRZ. You know, obviously after an impressive season, uh, not much left really to prove. You left it all out on the field, but 4-3-5 official for your best 40, 42 inch vertical. What do you feel like those kind of statistics and attributes kind of do to assist you as you try to get as high as you can up the, up the draft? Um, it just shows that, you know, all the, all the guys that, you know, had pretty good numbers at the combine, you know, when people thought I wasn't going to be right there, you know, it was another just, you know, a chip on my shoulder just to me, you know, write my own story, you know, um, you know, not doing anything at the combine didn't really stop anything. You know, I'm a league neighbors, you know, I can only write the path for me. So, you know, just staying on my course, you know, not getting too carried away with, you know, the media and what they say, you know, just being the guy that I am, you know, a playmaker out there on the field, you know, whatever you want to see me do, you know, I'm happy to do it. You know, that's, that's really it. What are specific situations or throws where you see that familiarity with Jaden really help you guys out? 
Um, I would say, you know, the slot fade that we ran a lot, you know, with me and Brian and Kyron, you know, it was one of those routes that, you know, if Jaden sees, you know, his cover one guy, you know, between me, or Brian Thomas, you know, he knows nine times out of ten, those 50-50 balls, we're going to come out, we're going to come down with it, or we might get open just off of speed. Um, so, you know, just having that route in our package, you know, it really made us explosive. And working that route, you know, every day after practice, it really helped our offense be more explosive with the down plays of the vertical concepts that we had. Malik, so to head coaches, GMs, fans out there, what do you want them to know about you? Um, humble kid, you know, I've been humble for a long time, you know, but, you know, when I'm out there on that football field, I play with a different chip. I don't know, I come alive when I'm on the football field. You know, I put my heart, you know, my soul in it. You know, I believe that, you know, it helped me get out of a lot of situations that I was in. So I put a lot into, you know, the football field. So. When I'm out there on the field, it just shows, you know, the love that I got for the game, you know. I'm going to be that, you know, that player that they can count on, you know, any time that they need a, you know, a play, a play to be made. Malik, uh, over here, down below. Hey, uh, just to follow up on something, you up at five because that's when you wanted to be up or just like the anticipation you kind of woke up? Uh, anticipation. Uh, you know, I tried to go to sleep early, but I kept thinking about, I kept thinking about the 40, you know. It was always some, you know, I never ran it since high school. Um, I started working on it three weeks ago. You know, I had a little toe, you know, nudge going on. So, um, you know, just just having that mind, you know, I stated, you know, I never really knew my time was. I was just going out there and trying to, you know, be the best, you know, be the best dog I can get. You know, I was I was up early, just, you know, my legs was kind of, you know, shaking a little bit because I was so ready to get out here. Um, so that was really it. That's why I was up so early. <laughs> Martel with AP. Do you have a, a range of um, picks where you really expect to be taken at this point? What is that range? And then just uh, why do you feel ready to, to make the transition right now? Um, I would just say wherever a team picks me, you know, if I get picked, you know, 19, you know, it's not going to change the dog mentality that I have. And I'm always be, you know, I'm always stated I'm receiver one. You know, that's the, you know, the chip that I walked up. And here with my show, you know, I walked up in here stating that I was receiving one when I was a freshman. And I, I always still got that chip on my shoulder. You know, I'm sure those other guys also, you know, those guys that's on the wall, you know, in the receiver room, they had that same mentality, that same chip. So to follow right behind that, you know, I'm always be receiving one in my eyes. So I'm always go out there and try to prove that.